Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna go over if you're looking to break an attack, if you're looking to become a network engineer, a cloud engineer, a DevOps engineer, a whatever engineer, you're going to have to sacrifice. And it's gonna take some time to, for people to really understand this, but here's the thing. If you wanna break an attack, if you wanna get into tech, there is a lot of competition in this field. A lot of people wanna work remote jobs. A lot of people wanna make six figures. And if you're looking to get into this particular field, you're gonna to have to get ahead of the competition. I mean, we are in competition with each other. I'm in competition with you technically if we're applying for the same role, but how do you get ahead? It's gonna be sacrifice. And what does that mean? I used to be really big into to video games for a while. I used to play a lot of GTA, a lot of FIFA. I used to do a lot of that. I used to hoop a lot of the times with friends. I used to do a lot of that as well. And uh, I was big on movies. I used to watch tons of movies on Netflix. I used to do all that all the time. And I realized that back in 2021, after I graduated university, I had no other option but to get a job. I told myself, I have to land a job. I have to land a job. And I didn't have a job after I graduated, right? Like many, many, some of you guys, you already know, a college degree has very little value in today's job market. No matter what you want to believe, it just doesn't have the value it had in 20, 2001, right? It just didn't have that value. So I, I didn't know what to do. You know, I was really big on video games. I was, I would play a lot of video games just to make myself feel better. Right. And I knew I needed to find a way. And that's kind of where I was like, okay, I know to get to my goal, it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of effort, right? Especially for things that you guys want, right? I, the reason is I, I, see, I see a lot of your guys' comments complaining a lot, saying, oh, it's so hard. Oh, it's so difficult. Like, I can't find a job. I can't do this, right? But then I see the other side of people saying, hey, I just landed this job. I, I grinded. I finally got the job and I put in the work, right? And you may be saying, oh, they got lucky, right? But you don't live their lives. How do you know they got lucky? It's, it's the, the word lucky really comes from your misjudgment of maybe the work they put in. And if they were lucky, why aren't you lucky? That's a question you have to ask yourself. Why is everyone else lucky but you? And once you come to the root cause, right? Because I used to be that way. I used to have that pessimistic mindset of, I can't find a job. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I can't figure it out. And I will struggle. And you end up struggling. And you have that mindset that will literally take you nowhere, right? It ends up being coming a self-fulfilling prophecy that you will never land a job when you have that mindset. If there is a way to get in, you'll find a way, but are you willing to sacrifice? Right? Are you willing to give up video games? Are you willing to maybe wake up a little bit earlier? I'm not saying not get enough sleep. I say sleep is the most important thing, but are you willing to set aside? Cause everyone has the same amount of hours. I have 24 hours, you have 24 hours. Everyone has 24 hours. What do you do in those 24 hours? You have to ask yourself that. What exactly are you doing in those 24 hours? And if it's not getting to your goal, just know that someone else is getting there and using their 24 hours to get to your goal that you want, right? Which is maybe landing a job as a network engineer or a cloud engineer. But if you're not willing to put in the work, the extra hours, I can almost guarantee you, you're not gonna, you're really gonna struggle. And and obviously there's people doing the wrong thing, right? Obviously there's tons of people getting certifications and thinking that they're, they're putting in the work, but at least they're going somewhere, right? I used to be in the, uh, the volition of just, you know, putting in maybe 30 minutes a day of, of study, 20 minutes a day of study and be like, hey, I'll, I'll maybe land a job doing this, right? And it took me absolutely nowhere. What actually worked for me was spending hours upon hours upon hours laughing and getting frustrated and getting upset and getting angry why I cannot troubleshoot this thing that I'm working on, right? And as, as you know, if you guys are looking to become a network engineer, we do tons and tons and tons of troubleshooting. And when it comes to troubleshooting, it's a thing where you're doing it, right? Which is great, but it, it, it can be very annoying. It can be very grueling at times and doing it, it just isn't fun, right? And I'll be honest, when I was doing, when I was new into network engineering, I did not like it. And, and many of you guys probably do not like it either. And the good news is the better you get at something, you tend to like it more, right? You tend to somehow like it more. And then once you like it more, you end up enjoying it, right? And, and wanting to do it as much as possible. And to, to really get to that point, you're gonna have to go through the mud, right? That's what people call it. You're gonna have to struggle. You're just gonna have to eat crap. Like there's nothing I can tell you. If it is hard, every, it's hard for everyone else, right? It's literally hard for everyone else, but it's, it's the choice is really yours, right? If you spend all your time, we all have the same 24 hours. If you're spending the time doing the things that's gonna take you to your end goal, you will get there, right? And there's inputs and there's outputs, 
when it comes to getting into tech, your inputs is labbing, test prep, interviewing, fixing up your resume, role-playing interviews. Those are your inputs that you can do to help you land a job, right? Your outputs are obviously getting interviews and landing jobs. But the question is, why isn't your inputs there? Like, why are you not putting in the work? All right, you may be watching this video, which is great, but this video is more of a motivational video. It isn't really gonna help you land that job, unfortunately. So I'd highly suggest after this video to maybe spend some time labbing or do one of those inputs I mentioned, because that's what's gonna help you get to that end goal. That's what's gonna help you get to that end goal. It's not watching another YouTube video. I used to do that. I used to do it. Maybe you can listen to it on your car drive or whatever, or, or where you see fit, but just know that your inputs is what directly results in the outputs, which is what I'm sure you're looking for is interviews and jobs. So it's that simple. It's not rocket science. The question is, are you willing to sacrifice? Maybe you're addicted to video games or not addicted, but you just like playing video games when you're tired from work, right? Because I understand. Maybe you're working a full-time job while you're trying to become a network engineer, or you maybe you're a student or whatever. And maybe you get home from work and you're exhausted. And the last thing you want to do is open up a lab simulation and, 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 and use whatever bandwidth left in your brain to, to figure out a problem, right? And that can be really tough. That can be really saddening as well um, when you go through it and it's very difficult. And I understand where you're going through. I used to do it. I used to hate it, right? And the longer you do it, the easier it gets. And that's with anything you ever do. But the question is, are you willing to put in the work to get to the point where it becomes easy and you like it? And if you're not willing to do that, just know that you're not sacrificing your wants. You're sacrificing your goals. You're sacrificing your goals. And if you're okay sacrificing your goal of getting into tech, then it's not worth complaining and just accept the fact that maybe it's not for you and it's completely on you. Right, because at the end of the day, anyone can get into this field. I don't, I've seen people from all different industries that I've helped. People from nursing to people working in, as a car salesman. Anyone can get into this particular field. The question is, are you willing to put in the work to get to there? Are you willing to sacrifice what it takes? Right, I, I've been, I've talked to so many people. I had a friend of mine saying, hey, I want, I really want to become a network engineer. I really need help. I really need help. And I say, yeah, sure. This is what you do. And, you know, maybe like two weeks later, I'm like, hey, you know, did you do anything? Oh, not yet, man. I got busy. And I'm just like, huh, he doesn't really want it. Because what are you busy with? Are you busy with not wanting to get to your goal or are you busy with something else? Right. It, it should always it's it, it comes to priorities as well. Right. A lot of the times, if it's not your priority, you're not going to make it. If it's not your priority, you're not going to make it. Right. And that's what it takes, guys. It's that simple. If you're not willing to put in the work, just know that you're sacrificing your goals. And it's it's a hard pill to swallow. Does Is working hard hard? Yes. Is that the only way to get to your goals? Unfortunately, yes. But that's, that's, that's kind of how things are, okay? So if you're looking to break into tech and you're struggling, is it because you're not putting in the work or because you're doing the wrong things? And you can watch all my videos and you can de decipher whether you're doing the right thing or wrong thing. It's very simple to know that. But if you're not putting in the work, i.e. studying, labbing, practicing, talking to new people, practicing interview questions, all that stuff, maybe getting a couple of certifications, right? And doing it quickly. If you're not doing all that, just know that time is of the essence. Time is ticking and you're missing out on really good opportunities. So that's the message I want to leave for you guys. If you guys are struggling and need help, um, if you guys actually really need my help, go ahead and click the link down in the description. You can book a call with me to see if I can help you if you're looking to become a network engineer. And with that being said, everyone, thank you guys so much for your time. It really means the world to me. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys want to, if you guys like this video, please give it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a good rest of your day and peace.